He wrote home every day. There's about 383 letters and then a few dozen more. There's postcards. Anyway, that's, that's one box. Then George found two more boxes because his grandfather mm -hmm. stayed in touch with Mary's family after Mary died. So there's another 100 letters going into the 1940s. So this archive goes from 1885 to 1944. So Nelson, the current Nelson, takes me across the street from his, from his hut, around the corner from his house, across the street from his brother's house. That's a boathouse from about 1900, right? And then it was jacked off its foundations in 38, right? And then dragged inland, and Henry's son Nelson used it as his art studio, and that's all on the floor. And they've got, by the time we add it all up, I think there were maybe 60 paintings in the boathouse, and 10 in the various homes, and then another ten, another five, 10 scattered among various family members. There's landscapes, and portraits, and more landscapes, and more portraits, and everything has some kind of cryptic inscription on the back in various handwritings. It's, it's, um, it's Nelson's handwriting, it's Henry's handwriting, it's Mary's handwriting, it's her sister's handwriting, and it's all in pencil, and you kind of have to tor torque them. Anyway, there they are. So I start taking pictures, and I start reading through the letters. Um, Nelson drops me off at uh, New London train station. He calls one of his nieces and says, we got the next Mary Cassatt here. <laughs> <laughs> I say, are you really going to let me take these letters? Really? And George says, yeah, we know where you live. You know, we're from the New York Times. You know, I got friends at the Times. You know, they let me take home all the letters. So I took them home, where yeah. Mary learned to paint. And her teachers included James Wells Champney, right, who lived in Deerfield, who was a tonalist painter, and um, like Mary became. Um, and there's one letter that specifically says, Mr. C guided my infant steps on the path of art. And it's also Mr. C that she was driving, she was biking to see in the darkness mm -hmm. in Deerfield. Um, and then this guy also comes to teach in Hartford, Joy Tryon, who becomes Mary's boss at Smith. And he brings Mary with him as his teaching assistant is her title for a long time. That is Smith's art gallery, funded by the Hilliers.